In this video, we're going to look at how we can factor trinomials, which do not have a coefficient in front of x squared. If you recall, factoring takes a polynomial and puts it in a form where binomials or monomials are multiplied together. So let's start with the binomials and work with what we've seen before and see if that can help us determine a process to help us factor the trinomials. Using a distributing method to multiply, we would multiply the x plus 6 by each term. We would have the x times the x plus 6 and the negative 4 times the x plus 6. We could then keep distributing the x through and the negative 4 through, giving us x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 24. The only thing left to do as we simplify would be to combine the like terms in the middle to get x squared plus 2x minus 24. Our goal as we factor in these problems today in this video would be to start with the x squared plus 2x minus 24 and hopefully end up with the x plus 6, x minus 4. You may notice that if we were to not look at the last step, but above the last step, we could have done that by grouping and doing the left and right sides and worked our way up to the top quite nicely. The only thing we would have to figure out then is how are we going to split up the 2x into 6x and negative 4x. There are several ways to go about doing this, and one way is called the AC method. The AC method says we're going to multiply a times c, or the first number coefficient, times the last coefficient. I'm going to make a little cross here, and we'll put that product on top of it. There's a coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared, times negative 24 is negative 24. We put the other number, 2, in the bottom. What we're looking for, then, to make this work is a pair of numbers that when we multiply them together, they'll multiply to 24, negative, and they will add to 2, positive. Notice if we were to multiply 6 times 4, we get 24, and if the 4 is a negative 4, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, and 6 plus negative 4 is positive 2. That is how we would want to split up the 2x into 6x and negative 4x using those numbers that we found that multiply to negative 24 and add to 2. We still have the x squared in front and the negative 4 at the end. We can now factor by grouping. Split down the middle, we can factor an x out, giving us x plus 6, and we can factor a negative 4 out, giving us x plus 6. The x plus 6's match, and we get x minus 4 for our other factor. Maybe even more useful to us is if you notice the positive 6 and the negative 4 became the numbers inside our factors, x plus 6 and x minus 4. This pass pattern works any time there's a 1 in front of the x squared. Let's see if we can use this pattern on a few more problems that have a 1 in front of the x squared. This problem has a 1 in front of x squared, x squared plus 9x plus 18. Using the AC method, which I'm running off my screen here so you can't see, we would multiply to 1 times 18, or 18, and add to 9. There's only a few things that multiply to 18, and 3 times 6 gives us 18 and adds to 9. Using our shortcut that we found with our factors, we can use the x plus 3 and x plus 6, and we found our factors. One more time, x squared minus 4x plus 3, multiply to 3, add to negative 4, we can do that with negative 3 times negative 1, and so our factors are x minus 3 and x minus 1.